stick around. Come this is my room. Get the f out of my room. I'm calling the police. Hey guys, welcome back to Custom Robo. We're still playing the grand battle. We're trying to power through it. Um, last time we left off in the middle of these robo battles, so we're going to battle number three. I'm Shin. I'm two years old. Let's play. Let's play. Play with me. Let's play with robos. Okay. The uh, okay. Yay! I'll beat you, but it's a computer, so this is kind of weird. Uh, all the computers apparently have their own fabricated or downloaded personality type. I don't know. They did that so it's less boring. That's what the lady said. Um, this freaking robo looks insane. Holy sh! All right, so this is a single part style battle tournament. So we're gonna have a random robo whenever we pop out of here, and then we will just as needed, just like we have been. What the hell? Oh, okay, well, fire's okay. Or flame, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, this is a good combo right here. Jeez, man. There we go. First match of the episode. On a good note. None of these were parts that I use, usually. So, not too upset to be locked out of them. Dual bomb? That's cool. I'm still small, that's why I lost. Too bad! Uh, sorry if you can hear a dog in the background. Uh, my neighbor's got a new dog recently, and, um, it has become increasingly more difficult to record. It's especially in the daytime. Um, excuse me, are you sure you want to battle me? Do you really? The uh, um, I'm not confident about fighting, actually. I'm not confident about anything. Are you sure you want me? Are you sure you want to start? Yes, already. Yes, jeez. Please don't be mad. I'm sorry if I stink. You're a computer. I don't I don't think you could just steak unless I would spill something on you or something. I, I don't know. Alright, let's see what random ass robo we get. Oh god, what? What do we have here? Oh, dragon! Not so bad. This is a very strange setup. And actually, dragon does not work against him, because he is fast as hell. Dude, super fast. What the hell? I can't hit him at all. This is not working. Dude, that's insane. He can jump so quick. It's not even worth trying to use Dragon on him. There we go. I'm, I'm not gonna win this one. This is ridiculous. Whoa, 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 hold on. 
Oh, wow, I did it. Nice. Badass. Look at it. Look at the little chunky boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Seeker? I don't know what that was. A body type? I knew it. I knew it. I'm worthless. I knew I would lose. <laughs> Let's pick up these parts that we got. Metal ox. Nice. Juggler. Seeker. Tank head. Splash gun. Burrow bomb D. Dual bomb. Crescent bomb K. Jumping pod G. Satellite pod H. Double wave pod. Caboose pod. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. It's my turn now. Yippee. Are you strong? Hmm? Are you? Hmm? Hmm? You don't have to tell me. Uh-uh. I know. I know. Those eyes, those arms, that swagger. I know. It's like you were born to battle. I bet the girls can't leave you alone. I envy you, boy, do I. I'm so jealous it hurts. So want to start, huh? Huh? The uh, yeah. That's fine. Start, huh? You want to start? Okay, then let's start. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can we just start? Do you have to you have to announce it? Oh, huh. Interesting. All right. Random robo. Once again. I think this part of the game is meant for me to like, I mean, obviously it's meant for me to like, figure out which parts work the best. You know, you're supposed to actually customize your robo. But I think there's a little bit of a flaw to this game. If I can just pick random parts and end up beating everything. I know it's, I don't know how much of the game is left, so I don't know if that's a true statement for this entire, this entire second half of the game. But so far, the strategy of trying random shit has been working out. I don't really know how to feel about it. This gun does not do a lot of damage, but it's really easy to hit them with it. Yeah, this is kind of... I'm, I'm like juggling the hell out of him. I feel like a bully. Jesus Christ, man. It's a little bit more. 13. There it is. Wait, time's up. Well, I won. Whatever. <laughs> oh, a nice little, nice little movements there. All right, cool. That's the second to last one, I think. Breaker. My, oh my, oh my, oh my. You are a tough one. You are, you're the man. I know, I know I'm the man. Man, I'm tired. How much longer do I have to wait? What do I have to do this for? Huh? This is so lame. Let's get this over with quickly. Chop, chop. I mean, I've been waiting forever. So how about it? Come on, let's fight. Phew, I just want to get this over with.
I just want to get it over with too, man. I just want to get this game over with. This game's driving me insane a little bit. Not gonna lie. But, I mean, this always happens in the late stages of a series like this. It's this point where I'm like, I don't know how much longer this is gonna be. I'm trying to plan out what's gonna happen next, which I've already low-key started the next project. But I have to finish this game before y'all can, can check out the new series. Dude, dude, dude! What the fuck? But, like I've said before, if at any point I get absolutely stuck on this second half of the game, I'm not inclined to finish it. Because... I don't know. This is more like an arcade... style of the game. It's not even the campaign anymore. We already know what happens in this- well, this is kind of a continuation of the story, so that's kind of why I want to keep going with it. But there's less emphasis on the story, and I think that's more what I'd try to do with these playthroughs, is just see the campaign and see basically what the game's about. Get an any percent run, as they call it. Yeah, we, I mean, we hit the credits a long time ago, so... But yeah, there is a point, and I feel like I've already mentioned this before. Damn. There is a point with this game, or at least the second half, where I think you have to get... Ah, oh, fuck, dude, I was so close! Um, there is a point with this game where I think you have to get, uh... Gold trophies on every single tournament. And I'm not inclined to do that at all. Uh, maybe sometime in the future... I'll do that as a special kind of <laughs> return to Custom Robo episode or something. I don't know. I haven't thought about it that much. But it depends, honestly, on how well this series does in general. If no one really cares to see that, then... I mean, I don't really feel inclined to... to do anything with it. Alright, the left art gun was really fucking me up. Um... Let's get something annoying. Vertical gun. All right, let me out of the cube. Oh, I'm gonna get out way before him. Oh yeah, this is gonna work a lot better. Yeah, this dude's going down. No question. It's a good weapon choice. What the hell? A little bit more. Almost. Got it. Got him. Alright, that's the end of the robo battles. I mean, the, the computer battles, not the robo battles. I think we have a lot more robo battles left. <laughs> but. Only two. Well, I guess I did lose that last one. Fuck. Whatever. Gravity gun? Is that that big purple shit that he was shooting at me? Okay, big deal. You're strong. Whoopee. Can I quit now? <laughs> I guess so. Congratulations! You cleared all your matches! Come back whenever you feel like practicing your area battles, okay? By the way, sorry if I seemed aloof back there. I'm on business when I'm here, you know? It's my work mode. I'm LOL when I'm in other places. You wanna grab a drink? Stop by again sometime. 
All right, that's that. Oh shit, what? Now I wish Flurkles would come home soon. We have guests. We do? We have guests. Hey, I'll be here. Welcome back. You have guests, they're waiting in your room. Guests, who are they? Now I have no idea who they are. Why don't you go and find out? You'd better attend to your guests. But what are you talking about? Who is, or wait, let's pick up our pieces real quick. Breaker, gravity gun, that looks crazy as hell. Oh, what? Just random girls and boys? Hello? Hi, Flurkles. Nice to meet you. Duh, who are you? Hey, now, don't get all suspicious. There's nothing to worry about. Strangers in my room? Uh, yeah, I think I'll be suspicious. And uh, they all sound similar to me? <laughs> my name is Loa, and my companions and I work for a company called Holoseum Creations. Holoseum Creations? Yes, we design Holoseums for robo battles. Once we create a cool Holoseum, the custom robo development company buys it from us. Really? Yes, in fact, some custom robots already have their Holose or our Holoseums installed when you first buy them. Lately, we started a service where you can download Holoseum data into custom robots. There's a lot of people who can't make their own Holoseums, do you understand? See, it's sort of like the old days where people downloaded memory or melodies onto their cell phones. Oh, is that so? Well, then what's a Holoseum designer company doing here? We've heard good rumors about you. We wanted to run a monitor test on you. What rumors? Uh, and what's a monitor test? Well, you're a champion, right? What we want is for a strong commander like you to fight in a Holoseum we made. We'll monitor your battle, and then we'll know if the Holoseum is, will sell successfully. Yeah, I get it, but this is my place. I didn't invite you in. Don't you think that's a bit rude? Oh, what you must think of us, but we had permission. We asked your mother, and she brought us in. My my mother? The the woman who was cleaning, <laughs> who was sweeping the grass outside. She seemed kind of insane. Isn't that isn't that your mother? Ugh, it was Lucy. Once we told her about ourselves, she said she was more than willing to help out her son. Of course, we gave her a bit of cash for taking the time out to help. Cash? You gave her money to come into my fucking house? <laughs> yeah, of course. Lucy. In any case, shall we start? Yeah, whatever, I guess. We're gonna employ no limit battle rules here. Okay, whatever. I get it. Alright. How are you? My name is Barina. I thought up this stage. I like to call it uh, the sudden death stage. Since there are a lot of cute little robos like the little raider, I thought it would be good to folks at a small Holoseum to battle in as well. Since it's so small, it's hard to run from your opponent. I thought it might add some spice to the battles. So are you ready? Uh, sure. Let's have fun, okay? Alright, I know exactly what I'm gonna pick for this. If it's a tiny fucking Holoseum. Uh, let's pick... Wait, what is... Oh, okay. I see. No, I don't want that. Um... Let's put Metal Ox on, dude. We haven't tried that yet. I like the red one. And then... We're getting our shotgun out, y'all. That's what we're doing. Don't want left wave. Want straight G. Um, and we're going to do Seeker and I guess Quick Jump. I guess that's fine. All right, here we go. This isn't small. Well, I guess it is small. Never mind. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than the other ones. Jeez, man. Okay, I think that was... That had to have been the fastest match this entire fucking game, right? I mean... Nice! I like the victory pose there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Your battle was very helpful. I was right. The small size makes it a lot of fun. I'm glad I made this Holoseum. Are you sure? I mean, you weren't even alive long enough to enjoy it. Hi, I'm Kasun, I guess. Let me tell you something. I love cake. And one time I was cutting a big cake and it dawned on me. 
I want to eat men cake. This would make a good Holosseum. Using the cake as a basis, I envisioned a Holosseum that came apart and joined together. Then, while I was tinkering with the design, I found out about the outside world. They said the outside world was a ruin. The idea terrified me. I didn't want our world to become a ruin like the outside world. The image stuck with me, though so I changed the environment to a ruin. It's called Impact Crit. What did this have to do with a cake? <laughs> what? It's a little scary, but I think it's a lot of fun too. So let's do it. I totally lost what she was saying about the cake. I... Like, what the hell? I'm gonna keep what I have on. Yeah, what the fuck? Where's the cake? What the hell was she talking about? I'm starting to think these matches are just to show off the Holoceums, because these are not difficult at all. Raw, I like that. <laughs> Metal Ox is badass. Halo gun? Like from the Halo game? Oh, I lost, but I think this Holoceum will work, thanks. Goodbye. She looks like she works at McDonald's. I like how they couldn't be fucked to model faces for these kids, so they just gave them all visors. I'm Hamada. This all scene was actually custom made for someone. That's right, I take requests. Really? Who requested it? Some guy called, uh, Evil? I heard he's an excellent commander. The Evil? What, you know him? Weird. Anyway, he's supposedly very skilled, but he can't make his own Holoceum. I guess he's sort of bothered by it. That's why he asked me to make a Holoceum just for him. He said that he didn't care as long as it was really huge. He was really into huge things. So that's uh, what- this is what I came up with. It's called the Gigantic Sprawl. Since it's spacious, you can dodge all around the Holoceum before approaching your opponent. So you ready to check it out? Uh, sure. Bigger is better. <laughs> that's what Evil told me anyway. Okay, um, I want to be something that's gonna be fast. So, to me, that sounds like, uh... Halberd. And... I'm gonna keep Shotgun. And not Quick... Jump. I want Long Thrust. Yeah. Bigger is better, especially when you're Long Thrusting. <laughs> Whoa, look at the background in this place. That's insane. That looked crazy for a second. Wow, this is a pretty big place. I don't know if his robo is set up correctly for this kind of environment. Whoa, Evil's face is even on the corners. I didn't even notice that till just now. Got him. You win! Yes sir, e Bob! Man, the blue version of this mech is kind of badass too. I think the red looks a little cooler, but... Okay, I think it works. This Holoceum lacks taste, but that's what Evil wanted. Whatever. I'm getting paid either way. Alright. Wait, there's only five people here total. Isn't there gonna be a six fighter? I'm Punio! Yeah, that's my name! You wanna try out the Holoceum or what? If you uh, don't want to, that's fine too. Isn't um, Punio the name of one of the uh, the punies from Thousand Year Door? I think it is. Seems a bit on the passive side. 
Well, if you have an audio, I wouldn't mind trying it. You really do? For real? Oh, all right then. Long time ago, I used to be a construction worker. What? But now, as you can see, I'm constructing uh, Holoseums. I went from physical to virtual construction. Odd, huh? I thought about my old job when I was making the Holoseum. It's called the uh, loading dock. There'll be a container moving around. Use it for cover and uh, as a platform will be key. Who knows if it'll be fun or not? We'll see, I guess. So anyway, let's start. All right. Okay. Same shit, different battle. It's all this playthrough has turned into. Oh, whoa, that's crazy. That is definitely different from other Holoseums we have been in. Uh, why can't I move? There we go. Oh, whatever. Death. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Yeah, that freaking high kick he does, dude. Looks painful. I know he's a robot, but whatever. Imagine in like a human doing that. It, it seems like it would be painful. <laughs> huh, I don't know how I feel about this Holoseum. Or myself. You just really shattered my confidence. Thanks, Florkles. Any time. Thanks for all your help. I'm glad to be asked for you. You've been invaluable. It was worth the money we spent. Not that I'll see any of it. Anyway, <laughs> forget the money. I'll test you with my Holoseum. I like to call it the Battle Gear Station. I collect analog watches as a hobby, and they were the inspiration for this arena. The Holoseum features three rotating cogwheels. Sounds cool, huh? Are you ready? Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm surprised Florkles didn't have a comment for the, the watch thing. I'm sure he's a, he's a watch connoisseur. Because of his, his, the watch his dad gave him, you know? I don't know. It's almost like they forgot about all that at the end of the campaign. Oh, come on. Let me up. Dude, this is actually a pretty insane Holoseum. Damn it. Gotcha. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside that trunk? I'ma get, 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 get you drunk. Yeah, the fucking kick, dude. I can't get over it. I know I keep mentioning it, but... Yeah. Okay, I guess there were only five battles in that one. I thought they were all strictly six, but I guess that's not true. Phoenix gun? I thought I already had a Phoenix gun. Did I not? Works good, yeah. Not bad at all. I'm not bragging because it's mine. It's uh, it's a good Odyssey. I'm confident, that's all. You're all done, thanks. <laughs> we'll get out of your house now. I think these Holoseums are ready for the market. We're gonna go ahead and sell them. One day, who knows? You may just stumble upon any one of this, uh, these five Holoseums. Now I can see why you're the champion. The champion. Say, Florkles, any chance you'd like to work as a tester for our company? The uh, I've already got a job. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Oh, well, that's too bad. Even though they'll be out on the market, we're gonna stay here for a bit and run some tests. Come back again whenever you feel like it. Come back to your house. <laughs> Stick around. Come this is my room. 
Get the fuck out of my room! I'm calling the police! <laughs> That's hilarious, they just hang out there. There's police right there! Well done, you've cleared all of the battles in this world. If there's a tournament you would like to challenge again, feel free to do so. If you would like to go to the outside world, please go to the police squad headquarters. Yeah, of course I do. That's exactly what I want to do. Let me pick up this part real quick. Phoenix gun. Halo gun. Tomahawk bomb G. Alright, cool. Well, yeah, I guess uh, next time we're going to be going to the outside world. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. Like and comment on this video, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.